Hello everyone, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. For anybody here who is new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I am going to kick it old school today and go back to a traditional style haul. I have done three installments of my vlogging for the month of January, something that I am working on. Uh, fine-tuning my vlogging skills, which if you've watched the past three days, you see that they leave a lot to be desired, but I'm working on them and hoping to bring you some fun content and a little more behind the scenes to life as a reseller. But today I am very excited to go over with you all of the new things that I picked up at my haul up in Maine. So there are some Goodwill outlets in Gorham, Maine. I think they only have one outlet store. Um, in the state and I was fortunate enough to go up there with um, a couple of friends, uh, Ivy and Blush and Mo The Modern Beat on Instagram. And The Modern Beat, her name is Mira, she lives up there. And uh, if you watch her Instagram, you see how many phenomenal things she gets. So my friend Daniela, Ivy and Blush and I wanted to go up to visit Mira and see what the bins had to offer and they did not disappoint. So I was there. We got there when the bins opened at 8 a.m. We stayed until about, I want to say 2 o'clock, maybe just shy of 2, um, so uh, several hours. And I ended up getting 56 pounds and I spent $83. So one of the bags that I have here that I'm going to show you, um, I am planning to bring to um, Plato's Closet which is a model that Mira does up in Maine. She shops the bins, she has a cart for herself that she wants to resell, and she has a cart that she brings directly to Plato's Closet. And oftentimes she'll spend like $15 on her bag for Plato's Closet, and um, she'll go to Plato's Closet and they'll hand her 80 to $100, and that will pay for her entire bin strip. So what she paid um, for her Plato's bag and then all of her stuff that she is going to sell. So essentially, she ends up getting her inventory for free, which is just an amazing model. My Plato's Closet, I don't know them so well. They're pretty selective about what they take. I have brought stuff to them. They usually take about 20% of my bag. So I haven't had huge success, but I don't go frequently because it's about a 30 minute drive from my home. Um, but Mira is like a professional. So she was helping me make some of my choices. So I thought I would start by showing you what I picked up for Plato's Closet and then move into the items that I plan on selling myself. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this. This is probably going to be a long video, um, but I'm going to try to move through things relatively quickly for you. And to be 100% honest, I don't even know what I'm about to show you. Nothing has been sorted. It should be interesting. Nothing has been sorted, nothing has been cleaned. I usually do one round. I haven't processed any of it. So we went to Maine on Sunday. If you watch my vlog, you'll know that on Monday, two days ago, uh, I went to Manhattan with my oldest son, Anthony, who had a second interview for a summer internship. Thank you to everybody who wished him well. We haven't heard back yet. Um, but it was a great experience for him, no matter what. And I tagged along. So Maine, Manhattan, and now I'm just getting to my bag. So here we go. So first off, so this is the bag. I did not weigh it, but after this video, I am estimating, meh, I'm estimating around 10 pounds at the most, maybe 15. Um, so this whole bag probably costs, let's say $20 for the sake of the video, but we'll, we'll look and see more. So I'm just going to run through these pretty quickly. So these are brands that I would not necessarily pick up to sell on my own, but I'm trying to bring them to Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet is a buy, sell, trade store, much like Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange and those, those stores where you would go in and maybe pick up something for yourself, but oftentimes the prices are a little bit too high to flip things. Um, you can always find a gem in any store, but anyway, so let's get into it. So I got these bullhead black denim jeans. Um, these are a cropped jean with a raw edge. They look very little to me. Um, so they look like they're, they're a skinny style and they are a size one. So I got those. So, you know, if I listed these in my store, maybe I'd get 20, 15 to $20 for them. I think the average price that um, Plato's gives you is around $15, so we'll see. 
Um, anyway, okay, this bag, I liked this bag a lot. It's just this really pretty blush bag. It's from A New Day, which is Target brand, but I thought it was trendy and it was in really excellent condition. Um, again, this would probably sell in my closet for $15, $12, but given the amount of inventory I need to process on a day-to-day -day basis, there are just certain brands that I would probably pass at the bins for my own closet, but we're going to see how they do at Play-Dohs. Now, these are a pair of Chino shorts. These are J. Crew Gramercy, and they are a 34 wide. I think Gramercy is the, um, the style of the shorts but they're kind of like that Nantucket red that is pretty popular around here in New England. Um, they're shorts. I do think that a lot of these buy-sell trade places are now taking um, spring and summer. We just recently did a drop-off at another consignment store that I use, and they were only accepting spring and summer, but it takes them a long time to process. So I don't know what Play-Dohs will be. These I would sell in my closet, if not. This I was actually considering selling in my closet. It's just American Eagle, soft and sexy plush. It's a size small, and it's like this, uh, it's this like stretchy, soft um, tie-dye purple, and I really like it. Um, one of the things that Mira advised was that they are more selective about the condition sometimes than the brand. So I had a few decent brands that I held up, and she said, I don't think they'll accept that. It's too pilly. So she said, really be aware of if something is pilly. So um, I kept that in mind. This actually on, on the screen, on this, on the video, it looks pilly, but it's not. It's actually very nice. Um, she also said American Eagle, it should be current. So anything 2017 or newer, unless it's an exceptionally good style. So these are just tips. And this is just what works for Mira and just what works for Mira at her Play-Dohs in Maine. They're all different. It all comes down to who's processing your clothing. So keep that in mind. Um, this is an H&M shirt. I picked this up because it was in good condition. It was a novelty print. It had little birds on it. H&M, another fast fashion brand. I do like to save things like Forever 21 in H&M from the landfills. They're not made for a long time. I mean, their quality is not good. Oh, I meant to look this up. JJ in LA. I actually think this is literally just a t-shirt brand. I don't think this is anything, but I would sell this in my closet. This is a pretty cool t-shirt. Um, it just says Sunshine State. This is very much my vibe. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to send this to them. I like this. It's a size small. If that's a brand, let me know. I don't think it is. I just think I'm going to put this in a separate pile because I might keep that. This is just a scarf. I couldn't find a tag on it. Um, and I'm looking at it. There's a couple sections that aren't great. I do love floral patterns and I love mustard. And this sort of stuff really films well. So this is a great piece if I'm taking a photo. Um, and I do okay with scarves. I'll have to look at my analytics and see what I'm actually selling. But this is just like a big square scarf. I'm just going to make sure it doesn't have any holes. But I'm going to see if Play-Dohs will take that. They might give me $2 for that. These are just American Eagle jeans, can't go wrong. These are the super stretch. They are a size two and they are the high rise skinny. Now this is also something that does very well in my own closet. So these would be a good uh, $20 flip, 20 to $25. That's going to my pile. <laughs> I like those. I haven't even gone through this. So this is why I haven't been sure. This um, Climate Chill, this is an Adidas shirt. It's a really nice golf shirt. Um, I don't, I sell, um, so when I was looking at my analytics from Sarah Stiles, um, who does a dashboard that I'm going to do a video on, um, it said, it told me that 8% of my business was men's clothing and only 2% is children's. So I'm keeping that in mind when I shop. Yesterday, the only two pieces that I sold were both men's. So I liked this shirt a lot. So we'll see if they like it. Um, this is, oh, this is the brand Airy, which is a division of American Eagle. It's like their loungewear size side. This is a size small. And this is just like a one piece, ooh, very stripy, one piece um, loungewear, pajamas, whatever you want to call it. It has a tie waist. Pretty cute. Um, the other thing Mira said to keep in mind, which I'm looking at this, I wasn't really paying attention with this, is to try not to get things that are too heavy. So if you're buying lightweight stuff and it's only costing, 
if it if the cost is between 60 cents and a dollar we paid a dollar 39 per pound at these bins you really can't go wrong if play those gives you three or four dollars if you're picking up a bulky jacket and they're giving you four dollars but you spent 375 at the bins you're not getting as much of a return there this is another piece that i really like i don't pick up this brand very much the brand is maurice but look at how pretty this is this is a tensile like a dip dye ombre style dress um really really pretty i might look at the comps on this but i i, I don't do particularly well with dresses my sell-through rate is only 30 35 percent on dresses with which is my lowest sell-through rate so um, I wasn't looking to pick up many dresses for my closet. So that's why I think I'm gonna send it their way. I thought this was a fun novelty shirt, the beer brand Guinness. It's just like almost like a bowling shirt, but it's got some fun details. It seemed kind of hipster enough that I thought that um, a place like Play-Dohs would enjoy it. So I'm gonna bring that to Play-Dohs. Okay, these are another pair of American Eagle. Yeah, these are good ones. They have like the the chewed bottom very distressed but this distressing is really fun um i didn't look the date on these but these are the jeggings and these are a size eight so slightly bigger size and that nice light wash definitely think they would take those um and some of this for me comes down to just time like i know for sure these would sell in my closet but i have a little bit of a backlog so it's like well do i want to list those or do i want to list the Doc Martens I got in this, that's going to give me like a $50 return. So for me, with the volume that I do, cause I list everything on my own. I do have someone who shares my closet. My dad helps me share my closet, but I list everything. So sometimes I'm just like, yeah, this would definitely sell. It might even sell fast, but it's only gonna sell for like $15. So I might pass it along and just cut my loss. It's not really a loss. I'll be getting money back, but do you know what I'm saying? Whereas if you're someone who's looking for inventory, um, you might not mind taking the time or, or if this is more your business model. These I thought were adorable little slides. These are a size nine and they're forever 21, but they're that beautiful blush. And you know what they go really well with is the purse from um, Target. But I love this blush color. I pick it up anytime I see it. It's very trendy um, for this year. And um, I think it will continue into 2020. It was very popular in 2019. I think 2020 will be pretty good as well for this color, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Um, this I wasn't sure about, um, but I know it won't photograph well for me. Um, I, have a, I have a hard time photographing long things. I'll, I'll do it if I have to, but it's a jumpsuit. And Mira said this is a big thumbs up, one piece jumpsuits. Um, and this is just from Old Navy. It's an extra small, but I think it's a really nice basic um, that a lot of people can get behind. This is cute in the summer. It's cute with a caftan over it or just like a basic white rib tank underneath. Just a very versatile piece in really good condition. It was lightweight. Am I going fast enough? I'm trying. Oh, this was cool. This was a Francesca piece, which I don't do well with Francesca brands in my closet. Um, the brand is Miami. It retailed for $40. It kept getting marked down. The final price tag was $14.97, but this was new with tag. It's very fun. I love the stripes. Um, maybe the stripes would do well in my own closet. I'd have to look and see, but um, very lightweight, very trendy, new with tag. Maybe I'll get $4 for that from um, Play-Dohs. And I know that Play-Dohs runs a great big sale at the beginning of the year, so I really do want to get down there and take advantage of their sale. These are just some Under Armour leggings. They are pretty good about taking athletic wear if it's a little bit of a standout. So while there is some cracking, I don't know if they would take these, but um, they might. I thought these were kind of cool. They might pass because of that cracking, but I would be able to sell those for $15 as well if they don't take them. This I picked up because of the pattern. It's again, Old Navy. Um, size large and it's got like these little kitty cats on it. I thought that was pretty cool. Just a button down. Also, I don't particularly love steaming button, button downs and storing them. So I've been picking up button downs less unless it's a really good brand. Uh, this was cool. This was a Puma jacket. Um, I just sold a Puma coat last week. This is actually kind of nice. This was the heaviest piece that I picked up for Plato's closet, but I think it will do well. It is a size medium. And I wanted to test the waters and see if they wanted some men's brands as well. So whoop, there's one more thing and then I'm done with Play-Dohs and then we'll move on to the regular one. Oh, this is a Fila skirt. I thought this was really cute. 
This is just an athletic skirt. It's a skirt, so there's built-in shorts inside. I thought that was a really cute tennis skirt. So Fila traditionally has not been a brand that I think of as something that is sought after, but there is definitely a trend right now with um, college age students or high school girls where they're wearing those big clunky white Fila sneakers. Um, so think of like old school Reebok white. Uh, my kids are all into white sneakers right now, except for Rocco, but Angie and Anthony, they love it. Um, and so Fila is the brand of the sneakers. And I just kind of pictured like a young girl with her Fila chunky sneakers and this skirt. So that's really cute. I think they will love that. So that's it. That's my bag. I will weigh this. Um, and before I edit the video, I'll let you know how much it weighs. Then I will report back and let you know how much Play-Dohs takes and um, how we did. So I can do the math based on the weight here. And I will get back to you on that. So let's move right into the rest of my haul. Um, which was great. So here we go. Starting over. So these are the items that I am going to sell. I've mentioned these a lot, so we might as well just kick it off. This is one of the first things I got when we arrived. Um, Doc Martens of this style. This is like when you think of Doc Martens, this is what I think of. This classic boot on the back is here. Here we are. And um, look at the bottoms of these. So a while back, I was at the the New Hampshire bins and I picked up a pair of these and they were in the box. So I was all excited. But I picked, when I opened them, the bottoms were so worn out, there were actually holes in the bottoms. And these are pretty thick bottoms. There was scuffing all over the toe. These are in pretty good shape. And I haven't even hit these with the Doc Martin balm, which will make them look like brand new. Anyways, they sold for $55 um, in that condition. So I'm hoping to get about $75. $80 for these, although I haven't looked at comps on these classic ones in a while, but I was pretty excited for that to be like one of the first pairs of shoes that I found. Um, I also got this fossil handbag. They had quite a few fossil bags. I think Daniela picked up one as well. Um, I passed on one of them just on the style, but anything that is crossbody, I really like. I'm pretty sure this is an older fossil piece, but fossil has a following. Their, their pieces are quality. This has a little thing for an ID in the back. So anything that I can sell as a crossbody, this has very little wear. This will literally just be like, take the pictures and sell it. Um, as opposed to this fossil piece, which I almost didn't get. So I'm hoping like between 25 and $35 for this. Uh, this fossil, I, I think I'm gonna like give this a soak. I love the yellow that it's like a little wristlet. Um, and it probably didn't cost much. This was probably seven ounces, probably cost 75 cents, but see how dirty it is. I'm gonna give this a soak and um, see if I can bring it back to life because I think it's a fun little wristlet with spring around the corner. I'll be happy to sell that. Um, these were just a quick pickup. We are in L.L. Bean land up in Maine, as you can imagine. That is where L.L. Bean headquarters are. Um, there were a lot of like seconds. I actually picked up a couple that I'm going to share with you, but um, some of them are really damaged. And Mira said she's been burnt a few times where she looks it over at the bins. She sees that it's been a return and then it goes from L.L. Bean warehouse or whatever to the bins. Um, and she gets it home and she's like, I always end up finding a big flaw. So I have a couple L.L. Bean things and I'm hoping I don't find the flaw. I look them over, but these are brand new, pretty much. Cute little lobster flip flops. I love those. Probably $15 for these. Really cute, really easy to photograph. I don't know why, but I got very excited for this bag and I think I'm going to keep it. I feel like one of us is always looking for a backpack, whether the kids are going overnight or if it's for sports or like even when I went to New York the other day, I needed a backpack I wanted to carry because I had a few extra things instead of my normal crossbody. And this is just a classic East Pack. Um, when I first bought it, there was a stain and it also smelled a little moldy. I was going to bring it to New York and I put it on my back and I was like, oh, maybe not. But we washed it and the stain came out and it's like brand new. I love neutral colors. I love black. This is just so cute. I don't think I'm going to sell this. It's in really good condition. But if I did sell it, I would try to sell it for around $35. Really just a classic. The Tata family will use this for years. <laughs> so I was happy about that. Um, I'm just like grabbing from all different places. Um, I picked up these little boots. These are really cute. Um, these are from the brand J. Crew. They're little kids J. Crew. They are called Crew Cuts. 
They are in excellent condition. They are made in Italy, fun fact, and it says K1, so kids size one. They're in really beautiful condition. The insides look like new, a little bit of hair there. And I love the little zipper, so that um, that's on the outside of the shoe, the little pink zipper, and it's like this taupey suede. Again, kids are only 2% of my sales, not focusing a lot on kids. I often take very low offers on kids stuff. Um, in my head, if I can sell a kid's item for $15, I'm happy. So most of the things that I pick up, I'll list between 20 and 30, and I usually sell them between like 14 and $20. And that makes me happy because I really only pick up kids' things at the bins unless it's an exceptional piece. So that's that. Um, this is, it's a Jose A. Bank. Is this Jose, J-O-S short for Joseph? I always call it Joseph A. Banks, and I don't know if that's right. This is for Rocco for game day. You're probably sick of me talking about Rocco's game days, but the boy had no dress clothes. So every time that I'm out, he needs them for basketball, I pick them up. I also picked up these for either Anthony, Jay, Rocco. I have three boys in this house. They are now all a size men's medium across the board. Laundry is really interesting. So anyways, um, there's one more package of these, but these were jockey new socks and um, the price tag on them was $18. So literally just these socks would have been 36 and then another 18. So 40, 46, $54, am I doing that math right? But I mean, $50 on socks at the bins, brand new, love it. Got these Aldo shoes. I don't do great with heels, but I really, if it's a good quality heel and I feel like it's like a basic that someone can wear to the office, I really like it. I like the brand Aldo, it's just a mall brand. Um, these are a size 38. They need just a little bit of a polish up, but this is really gorgeous heel. I just thought these were so nice. Um, little open toe, peep toe. So 38, I believe is like a size eight in US size. All right, here's another LL Bean thing. I have actually sold this style bag before. Um, I can't remember if it sold on eBay or on um, Poshmark, but it did very well. I wanna say it sold for like $38 and I was surprised by how much I got. It's almost like a little bean shape. So it's like a sling bag, you just throw it over your shoulder. And I have to say, from what I can see, brand new, like just flawless. So I may list this for around that same price. Yeah, this is honestly brand new, so nice. It has this little pocket here, L.O. Bean. I was excited for this. There was one other bag. Oh yeah, this. I kind of liked finding all this L.O. Bean stuff. There's a lot of outdoorsy stuff that I find in New Hampshire, but it's usually not in this good of condition. I find these like um, toiletry bags all the time at the bins, and then you like unzip them and you open them and you're like, whoa, now I see why you are here. <laughs> There's like soap and hair and all that. Well, this was brand new. And I love that this blue has like a tiny bit of a shimmer to it. So nice. So these two pieces from L.L. Bean were like brand new. I mean, 25 and 25 maybe like if I get $50 for these it's just crazy like when you think in terms of cost of goods and you're shopping at the bins you just can't go wrong oh the other thing that I want to do when I'm done is count up how many pieces I have here because I have a lot and I have a feeling that my cost of goods is going to be around a dollar um I feel like if I got 56 pounds and I, if I spent $83 that means I would have to have obviously 83 items which I'm not positive I'll get there but I don't think my cost of goods is going to be any more than $1.50, which is just crazy. Because if you watched my um, vlog from New York and I was spending $12 on a pair of jean shorts or whatever, skirt. But um, yeah, I love the bins. The more you bend, the more you bend. It's like, you know, um, the Coles has that commercial, the Coles. Coles is like, the more you know, the more you Coles. I say the more you know, the more you bins, if you can. Okay. I liked these, again, uh, Me Too is, is just a meh brand, but I bought these because they were in good shape. I like a wedge heel rather than a high heel. Personally, they're more comfortable to me and I like to sell what I like. So I like that these were a mustard color. They're really in good shape. Um, they are a size seven and a half. Nice size there for everybody. Just really cute. Um, I'll probably list these around $30, $32 and see, again, I'm like a broken record, but I haven't comped any of this stuff, so I apologize for not having comps for you, but I did just want to get the video up. Since I'm vlogging, 
I've been, um, it's just a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is the other pair of socks if anybody's interested. <laughs> um, again, Nine West, not a brand I would pick up at the thrift. These are really cute. This was a, a, an easy yes at the bins. These are a size eight. They're leather and they're just this cute little flat. I think these are just adorable with like little capris or like, you know, jeans that are frayed at the bottom and like a nice neutral shirt, just classic shoe. They do look a little bit narrow, but really adorable. And I will probably list these around the same price as those. So probably around $30, $32. And then I'll probably sell them between 20 and 25. The shoes here were good and we were all very excited for the shoes. So we would line up and we would get um, like a bucket, like a recycle bin and we'd stand there and pick the thing. And the crazy thing about Maine was that it was chill. Like people get aggressive in New Hampshire over the shoes um, and people pick before they're supposed to. Maine, everybody followed the rules. The workers were like, you know, they would stand. So the way you don't go around the bins in Maine, most of the stuff was pushed up against the wall. The hard goods were in the center. So you did go around those bins, but all the shoes and all the clothing was pushed up against the wall. And then when the workers would roll them out, they would actually stand like a security guard in front of the bin. And then um, the guy in back would load all the bins and everybody would stand in front of the guy and just wait like six feet back. And then once the final bin got rolled in, he would say, okay, everybody go. And then people would just walk forward and everybody goes straight so you can't get around the bin. It was just, it was so pleasant. I don't even, I couldn't even believe it. Oh, and I wanna give a shout out to my friend Kelly. So somebody who watches my videos um, saw that I was there and I was filming a little bit. They were also really cool about me filming, which made me very happy because I was able to give you some good footage in my vlog. But Kelly came over and she was so nice and I was so happy to meet someone who watches my videos. So Kelly, this is just a little shout out for you. I just want to say hello and thank you for saying hi. And obviously if anybody ever sees me and they want to come say hi, I loved it. So anyways, this was another shoe I got. Moving on. Adidas. Uh, I thought these were, again, uh, thinking about the white sneakers. So we just switched from Comcast to Verizon and my phone for Comcast was broken for years. Can you hear my phone ringing? It's only strangers calling my house line now. Um, so we ignore them all. So I don't know the style of these, but I will tell you they are size 11 and a half and they just need like a wipe down. So this is an off-white stripe. It's not dirty. It is off-white. So these shoes, they actually don't look as good on camera as they do. I can't tell if it's just the way the light's coming in, but these are really cute. I was excited about these. I'm thinking about 40, $45 for these. And I may list them above 50, probably list them between 55 and 60. Um, and just disclaimer, you know, all this can change once I look up comps. These are just my, this is my gut feeling. I had to get these, right? These Disney men's two piece, two piece sleep set from Kohl's retailed for, what does that say? Does that actually say $50? That's funny. So medium men's Mickey, I mean, they're winter, they're not Christmas. I don't know if I'll list these right now. I might just put these away. Um, but this is kind of fun because if people want to dress um, like their family wants to match for the holidays, this is the type of thing maybe they would buy and maybe somebody missed out, but it's like that cute little Mickey. New with tag, can't go wrong, probably cost $2. That'll show up somewhere. I picked up a LuLaRoe dress for my LuLaRoe pile. <laughs> I like this one. This one's kind of trendy. I was thinking about bringing this one to um, Plato's Closet to see if they would take it. Very nice quality because I love the little like football collegiate vibe, blue with like soft pink. It is an extra small, but this would be really cute with like a pair of white sneakers. And I feel like somebody could make this look funky, which I don't feel that way about most LuLaRoe, but I really liked this. So I got that. These were some of the first shoes that I found as well, and I was happy about these. So this is Lucky Brand, really pretty wedge, really excellent condition. I am finding more and more that I'm looking for good condition. Um, the busier I get, the less I want to, the less time I wanna spend on making things beautiful. So if they're not beautiful out of the gate, sometimes I will just leave them behind. Oh, this is my size, eight and a half. So fabric upper, man-made lining. So no leather here, but eight and a half, probably between, I'll probably list them around 40, 
38 and maybe sell them for about 25 um, or whatever. I say that. A lot of times people do just, I get a lot of lowball offers, but sometimes people just buy things outright, which is really fun. And you know, if you go into the Lucky store, these are probably retail for about $90. So if I list them for 45, may sound expensive on the video, but um, by the time you take the photos and process everything and pick up your goods, it takes a lot of time to list these things. And if you're doing it with care and you're sending your pieces and you're packaging them with care and quality goes into your process, I believe you should be getting what you can for, the, for your shoes. So just run the comps and see. And I am usually on the higher side of listing, but I'm also pretty generous with offers. My two cents. Okay, this dress I picked up. This is probably another Plato's Closet dress because I don't particularly love photographing black. And again, I have a ton of dresses. So I think I am gonna bring this to Plato's. Has a little bit of animal hair, which is a little speedy. And this is also a dress Angie might like. Um, anyways, the brand is Express. It's really pretty. A little hot mama dress. It's got like the crisscross in the back um, and it's, it's longer length. It has like the little split so this is a little mini. So this is deodorant right here. What um what was the show? It was like a TLC show. Can't think of it. But anyways, they said the way to get deodorant out is to rub the fabric right up against. See how it's kind of fading a little bit? Um, I can't wash this because it is new with tags. So the retail on this, it's from Express. The retail is $79.00. It had all these orange stickers, which I started to peel the stickers off while I was there in between rotations to try to save time. But this actually had an orange sticker for $1 on it. So wherever it was, it was marked down to a dollar and still didn't sell. And I don't know why, it's absolutely lovely. So, but I think I'm gonna put that in my Plato's closet bag. I don't wanna sell that. Um, if anybody wants that dress, um, I don't know, 15, $20, I'll sell it. Okay, this, I think, no, I found this. Daniela may have, may have given. It was really fun too. I want to say this. Some I personally love to shop alone. Like that is my ideal because I just get in the zone. Um, but I do love friends. But there's is there ever that feeling when you shop with a friend like, oh, we're looking for the same stuff or what if they find this first? Like there was just none of that. It was so nice. And even if in general you're looking for the same things as your friend, at the end of the day, I feel like there are still differences. There are things that Mira was picking up that I wouldn't have selected. And um, Daniela has more of like a classic preppy look and I'm probably more geared towards like bohemian. And Mira, I don't know, I don't have her figured out yet. Maybe a little more hipster. Um, so it was funny because while there are certain things we would all want to find and pick up, um, we do, we are a little different. So it was fun, we would like share, we would toss one to one person. Somebody would say, oh my God, throw that back, that's not gonna sell, or oh, I've sold that brand, that's great. So it's really fun to shop with other resellers because you help each other out. And my day just like flew by and I found that I was better about sorting and I just love the feedback we were giving each other. We had so much fun. So I'm really excited to go back. Anyways, I do okay selling, um, Pajamas, lingerie. This is Victoria's Secret. I picked this up because it just was very classic to me. It is like the newer labels, not like the gold label or anything. And it's just like a slip nightgown, but just very pretty. And it was a size large. So I like that. I'm probably going to list this around $28, $32 and see how that does. Um, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Now these were random purchases. Like this may be Plato's closet, but um. Mira thought that this would go on auction. I don't know, but look at this crazy cat dude. How awesome is he? Actually, I'm so happy I bought this. <laughs> See, so novelty shirts do well. There's gonna be somebody out there that loves cats, that thinks this is so much fun. It actually is so much fun. What does this say? It says, everyday struggle. Oh my gosh, how funny is that? Go with it, but this is really fun. So I'm gonna get that listed. I'm gonna keep this. I'm not gonna send this to Play-Dohs. I'll probably list it around $25 and see what happens. And who knows, it could be worth nothing. Okay, sadness, everyone, moment of silence. I know some of you are gonna be like, frig the Patriots. Um, but my boys lost. It was a sad, sad playoff game. And um, this was, I think we were shopping the, the next day. So Saturday night was the playoffs. 
And um, the last play of the game, Tom Brady threw a interception that went for um, a touchdown. It was a pick six. And we were down by one, but it was like that moment. You're like, oh my God, if they get this, we are clutch all the time with like a minute on the clock. Not so much. So when I picked this up, I'm like, yep, my Tom Brady shirt just went down in value. <laughs> He's a legend anyways. You got to cut the guy some slack. He is amazing. But I have a bunch of Patriot stuff and I should have listed it like two weeks ago before the playoffs. So my bad. Now I don't know if I should list it or sit on it or whatever, but I always have so much. Plato's Closet does. My Plato's Closet really likes local team things, so I could bring it there. This shirt initially, I was thinking Plato's, but then I liked it way too much. This is just a Zara striped shirt that just kind of spoke to me. Do I see a stain? No, I think it's just, well, I'm going to wash this. But look at the buttons on the back. Really pretty. It's a Zara basic, and it is a size extra small. Maybe I'm crazy for listing this, but this seems like a really pretty piece for a bundle. Really love the colors. Again, it's got my mustard in there, gray, kind of my color palette that I like. Whoops. Um, so probably list for 20, probably sell it for 18 or in a bundle. No, I'll probably list for 24, 25. Why not? This brand, okay, so has anybody had luck with Gretchen Scott? Let me know. Um, I have a really nice Gretchen Scott piece that I picked up and it's just been sitting. I don't know if I have it listed too high. I feel like there was some buzz around Gretchen Scott. And um, my piece that I have is more preppy. It's more, feels a little Lily Pulitzer-ish looking or like Vineyard Vines. This is, I feel like, a little more bohemian. So maybe this will do better in my closet because I tend to do better with that. Anyways, this is Gretchen Scott Designs, size medium. This probably retailed for, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not positive, but I think these pieces retail for between 100 and 125, 130. I don't know, I could be way off, but something tells me I'm not. I think these are a higher retail price. I love the color on this, really cute going into spring. You could wear it as a dress, you could wear it with leggings, loved it. Okay. Um, oh, this was the nightgown that somebody handed me. I think Daniela gave me this. And this was a piece I was like, put it in my go backs, then I grabbed it back. Then I put it, we had a bucket between the three of us that we just kept throwing things in that we were, that we found flaws with. But um, I just thought this was really pretty and I couldn't throw it back. I just couldn't. I love the black, the embroidery. This is just a beautiful nightgown. And um, what is it? It's Oscar de la Renta, size medium. Um, really pretty. So I don't even know about price on that. This Vineyard Vines hat I have, um, this could also go to Plato's Closet. Otherwise, I'd probably list it for about 15 and sell it for 12. This is something maybe I would keep because it's just easy to take a picture of a hat and summer's coming and, you know, people will like that. This top... Um, I kind of wanted this for myself, but it's a medium. I don't think it's going to fit. The brand is just Premise, which I think is sold at like Lord & Taylor, Macy's. I like this Hunter Green. It's just like a classic career shirt. I don't know if Plato's would take this because it's not as trendy, um, but I thought that was a nice blouse and it was light. I probably should. This was like a, I just wanted some plus size things and um, this is just Dress Barn. So it's funny, like I'll probably list this for $20. I think a lot of dress barns are going out of business. I just thought it was a nice plus size blouse and I didn't find many plus size pieces. So I wanted something to bring back from my closet because I'm always adding plus size. I'm gonna keep this on my lap because I keep bending down. Sorry about that noise. Oh, this was another crazy t-shirt. So not my style, but I had to laugh and I feel like people like these. Kind of cool, right? A little celestial with like, is that like a face on the tree? I don't know, why not, right? T-shirts, why not? Um, a few more things in here. Oh, I loved this. I love this Google shirt. I don't know why, I think it's cute. Google's hip. I'm gonna do that. This bra was so pretty, this Victoria's Secret bra. Look at the um, spell out on the bottom. Like brand new, I thought this was gorgeous. I love the color. Um, it looks current. It's got like a black label on it. And if anybody is interested, the size is a 34D. Beautiful. Um, also, as I say in all of my haul videos, if there's anything you would like or you're interested in, you can email me at lori, um, lori tata 1973 at gmail.com. 
Um, don't, I wouldn't necessarily leave a comment here because sometimes it's hard for me to filter through all the comments. If you email me in the subject, put YouTube haul and then the item that you're interested in, Victoria's Secret or sweater or whatever you want. And then when I'm going through my emails, if I just search YouTube haul, it will pop up because I've missed a couple recently and I felt very bad about it. Um, the other thing is you can always message me directly on Instagram. That's another good way to reach me. I am Lori's Boston Found. So at Lori's Boston Found on Instagram. Um, yeah, so if you want anything. All right, I was very excited for this. Um, this was a good example of why moved myself a little bit because the glare was in the um, screen. I was saying, this is a good example of why I don't wear gloves. This was in a bin. I just saw the little um, stripe, but I felt it and I was pretty certain it was Lululemon. And so when I pulled it out, it was Lululemon. It's just, it looks, it, this might be the Define jacket. It's a very soft pink. Um, with stripes, it's in miraculously good condition. I didn't see any stains on it. Um, I was looking pretty carefully. It's a full zip, cannot find the size on it. And I know the size is like somewhere in the pocket or something like that, but I'm estimating it's like a size 10 or 12. It feels a little bit bigger, um, but anyways, really cute. I was really happy to find this. I think um, Mira found a pair of Lululemon leggings. Um, but I think that was it on the day. Not a lot of Lululemon. Okay, lock your ears. This is gonna be loud. We're done with that. I'm gonna go through this pile here and then I have some accessories and then I'm done. I'm gonna try to do this in 50 minutes or less. This is a Boston Red Sox, which is my favorite hometown team. It says extra large. We couldn't figure out if it, it doesn't say youth, um, but I did just have a Columbia jacket returned to me that was a medium and it was a youth and I marketed it as a women's medium. There was nothing that said it was a medium, but it, it said like medium 10, 12, which I should have, that should have been like a red light for me um, instead of like medium 8, 10. So it was a Columbia vest that got shipped back. So I'm a little sensitive about making sure. What we thought was, because this seemed pretty wide, is that this is probably like a women's extra large bomber. It's this heavy lined fleece, really cute. And I'm so excited. It's got like the red shimmer. And look at this. It's new with tag. Not bad for the bins. This probably cost. This is a little bit heavier. So maybe this was three bucks. Um, but really cute Red Sox jacket. I'm super excited to list that as spring approaches. Okay. Here's an L.L. Bean coat that I knew had issues, but I loved it. Okay. So this just reminds me. This like gives me Canada Goose vibes. So this is, when I say like new, I mean it. Um, it is a size extra small. So all the LLB stuff that had been returned had this X through it. So um, it is an extra small. The issue with this is that, the, you know how there are usually like two zippers here. The bottom one is removed and it was in the pocket. So if you see the zipper, it's like chewed off right there. It actually does zip. And um, as a backup, there is a snap that goes all the way up, but it is just this classic down. This is probably a $250 jacket. So check it out. So nice, here's the back. There's buttons in the front. It looks like it's never been worn. Um, and I do believe that the zipper was in the pocket. So um, I had a, I had a really damaged um, L.L. Bean jacket that was down before. It reminded me more of the North Faces that were very popular a couple years ago. Like a bleach spot the size of my fist and it sold for $44 in like two days. Um, I got it at the bins, I disclosed all the information. So with that in mind, when I saw this, I'm like, this will totally sell. It's gorgeous. So um, somebody would probably need to repair it on their own, but I'm probably gonna list this around $75, $80 and see. I do wanna look first. I'm pretty confident that that probably retails for over $200. It is brand new. I mean, obviously I can't say new without tag, it's damaged, but um, I'm gonna take some great pictures, give some descriptions and we'll go from there. This is another one, L.L. Bean, and then I think I have one other L.L. Bean thing that clearly wasn't new. Um, this was another one that had like that X on it. So I think I picked up five or six L.L. Bean pieces, which, you know, went in Rome. So there's the X on it. Um, this is just a very light windbreaker. I loved the color. It's a men's extra large. It has like the zipper here. 
the nice windbreaker style and um, it says the tech here. So I'll look this up. This I didn't see a single flaw with. This to me um, may have just been a return that they decided to sell. I may still find something on it, but as of right now, I'm going with excellent condition and probably list that around $45. This brand is new to me. I looked at it, put it down, and then I decided I was gonna put the time into it, even though I just got done saying I don't like button downs men's clothing. So the brand is called Howlin' by Morrison. I thought this was cool. It's like a linen shirt. It feels like linen. And I just like the style. And it's almost like an off-white cream um, as opposed to like a bright white. But um, I want to say that the comps were like somewhere between $25 and $40 on these shirts. So it was light. So I picked that up. This is just an L.L. Bean. This, um, this has the X in it. But then it's got the size tag removed. This is probably gonna end up in one of my boys' closets. Uh, just a basic, uh, it's like a cotton. It's not flannel, it's cooler. It's like a cooler fabric. But I liked that. Mm, this I picked up. I don't typically love Talbots. Um, I think I'm keeping this. This is just a black plaid. Just a really cute basic shirt and it has a V-neck, if you can see that, with like a couple buttons in the front. And it says X, so it's probably like a 1X or an extra large, um, but very much my style and I love it. It's like a very soft, like flannelly light cotton. So I'm probably gonna keep that. This was one I hemmed and hawed and maybe should have thrown back. I've never heard of this brand called Villa. I just loved it. I thought it was so pretty. It's just a sparkly rose gold sweater with button detail in the back. It's probably like a size small medium. I just loved it. It's a medium. I thought it was so pretty. A pair of jeans. Like this is just like one of those simple like out to dinner. You just need a basic thing that you can throw on, but you want it to be just a little glitzier. Do you like my earrings? I got these at Savers right before Christmas. And they so don't go with this sweater even a little. Um, but I just wanted to show them off because I paid like $2 and I wore them to our fancy holiday party and I love them. Um, this sweater actually is one that I just listed. This is a Ralph Lauren um, Denim and Supply sweater in a size large. Um, it's short-waisted, but it's got this great Southwestern pattern on it. And um, I bought this in New York City and it's currently listed in my closet for I think $58. The comps on this were roughly $45. A lot sold for $45. Sorry that I'm so off center here. Is that annoying you? Okay, this is so soft. Um, this is an Eddie Bauer. It's an XLT, the softest, softest flannel. Really beautiful condition. Um, I will probably list this around $30. So nice and soft. Loved that. Someone will love that. Oh, I found Spanx, new with tag. I was happy about this. So this is uh, the classic turtleneck. The retail on this, $118. If you ever find Spanx, I know a lot of people already know this, but Spanx is happening. Although, I don't know how much of this is really going to fetch. Let's be honest. I don't know. Um, it's really, I'm going to have to press this or steam the heck out of it. But anyways, it's a turtleneck, like compression, uh, long things. It almost reminds me more of like a base layer. I'm not going to, I mean, I'll probably list this for half the price. So 118, I'll probably list it for $58 and we'll see where it goes from there. Has anybody ever sold this before? I mean, Spanx as a brand in general does super well. Oh, I was really excited for these. I found these towards the end and this is why I love watching other YouTubers because I always learn from them. And Nicole State recently did um, a haul on a filler bag that she got from a, a brand called Prairie Underground kind of heard of it before but it was definitely not on my radar and she went to a fill a bag and the fill a bag was two hundred dollars a bag so that right there tells you she was super excited she was going she i think she got like 10 items in the bag she ended up paying like 20 dollars per item and she spent two hundred dollars most of our fill a bags are at like church rummage sales for like five or ten dollars so two hundred dollar fill a bag i was like wow this there must be something to this brand and so when I found these, I was really excited. Also made in the USA, which is always a good sign. If it's not vintage and it's made in the USA, you know it's probably good quality. So here's the label. It's my first time finding Prairie Underground. And when I did a quick look, this exposed zipper with this like seam here and high rise is very um, classic to their style. 
Oh, I think I just saw a little flaw. Oh no, it's, it's a crusty flaw. <laughs> you know, that means you can wash it. Um, it means you can wash it and you don't want to know. Um, anyways, so these are like a skinny leg. They're a size medium. They're a dark wash. I'm hoping to get around $40 for these. I think they retail for about 200 or 175 around that mark, but um, really nice. So I'll probably list them. I'm not positive. I'll probably list them around 55 or 60 and see where it goes from there, but really happy. I love when I find new brands. It just makes me happy. I, I was thinking that in 2020, I wanna kind of like make a list of new brands. Like when I went to New York, I found Hatch for the first time and um, the, the brand closed. I got that beautiful midi dress. I, I'm not doing a YouTube, no, I did do a YouTube video on it. Um, yeah, closed, it was like a floral midi dress and the retail is like between three and $400. So I love finding these new brands. So it's been great. All right. Oh no, 51 minutes, I lied. All right, we're gonna try to keep it under an hour. Okay, these were a great find. These Cole Haan shoes. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, these I pulled later in the day. They're a size eight, flawless, like brand new. Can't wait to list those. Um, some belts, just funky belt, this green belt. Um, clearly only a bins pickup, but somebody will like that. This funky butterfly belt, probably listed for 18 or 20. Um, this belt I thought was interesting. Um, you know, a lot of these oversized tunicky tops, like if you put a funky belt on and some leggings or skinny jeans, it just is cute. What are these? Oh, Ziggy. This brand was nothing I've ever picked up before, but this reminds me a lot of like, um, whatchamacallit, Lucky Brand. Uh, these are just very classic boots and I can't remember the size on these. They are... <laughs> The, the style is cannoli, which I love, and they are size eight and they're like leather suede. And I love that they're flats, just can't go wrong with those, beautiful. Um, I picked these up for my mom. She cleans house and um, these are just Skechers and they're really lightweight. They had a pair of black ones, but they were much more grungy. These were in super good condition, I thought, just a little discoloration there, but I loved the blue pattern. So I'll see if Meme wants them and if she doesn't, because I think these are her size. Um, they are size seven, which is mom's size. So if she doesn't want them, I'll probably list them. I don't know the pricing on this. I'll have to do comps, but those are cute. So much stuff, right? This was great. Oh, I loved these Reeboks too. Again, looking for good condition. I loved the color on the back. I don't pick up Reebok a lot. These are a size 11, so that's cool. I believe they are women's. Um, it doesn't say specifically. Anyway, I loved the color on these. So those would be fun to photograph. And then this brand is uh, Riker, R-I-E-K-E-R. -E um, very nice, like comfort brand. I liked the leather. There's the logo, you see? There's a little something else written in there. Um, did I say the size yet? I'm not sure. Size is 41, looks like 41 European size, which is like a 10-ish or more. Um, that's it. We did it. We got to the end. All right. This is honestly the best thing that I found at the bins in Maine. And I can't believe I did not put it in the hall. I've mentioned it in my stories and I mentioned it in my vlog the other day. But anyways, in case you missed those things, this is a vintage Johnson Woolens buffalo plaid like shirt jacket really really nice um mint condition the only flaw that i can see on here is the fact that the um the zipper sticks a little bit it still goes up but it's just like an older zipper it's a size 44 um my oldest son anthony's friend came to the house and i kind of sized him up and i said oh my gosh you would look so good in this jacket so i'll insert a picture of will um and i said in my instagram post that nobody is safe when they come to my house so i that's it for the haul i'm going to give you my numbers breakdown that was really fun it was like going through it all again for me so highlights prairie underground the lulu jacket um the docks, I actually underrated, liked all the L.L. Bean stuff and the East Pack that I got, the Cole Hans shoes, 
lots of great shoes. I'm excited to see if Plato's Closet takes my stuff. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my haul today. Um, I will be back to um, vlogging tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and considered subscribing to my channel. Um, your support means so much. And I just wanna say thank you in this new year to my YouTube community and the familiar faces I see all the time, like Jet and um, Peony Dream. And there are so many people I can't even list who are consistent and who write me nice messages every time and let me know that there's somebody out there watching and enjoying my hauls. There's so many people to recognize. So I just thank all of you and um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a wonderful day and I'll be back soon. Bye.